According to the World Bank, extreme poverty is when you live on less than $2 a day. As this is the case, it is clear that our minimum wage earners are living in extreme poverty. Imagine the type of poverty that a man earning 18,000 naira goes through. His take-home pay cannot even pay his transport to and from work. Think about his children. Think about how malnutrished they will be when you consider that a salary can hardly buy even one bag of rice. Think about the deficiencies in their education, considering that the parents will definitely not be able to afford necessary books. And think of their health, knowing that they will be too poor to afford life-saving medicine when ill. Would it be possible to expect such a man not to steal? When he sees the opportunity, Nigerian civil servants are not corrupt by nature. However, because we pay them so little, they are under increasing pressure from the demands of life, which in turn increases the likelihood that they will steal. The Economic Financial Crimes Commission is doing its job of fighting corruption, but we must also fight corruption by reducing the temptation to be corrupt. We must pay our workers a living wage that can help them meet life's challenges and remove them from the class of extremely poor people. No one who works should be extremely poor. That is wrong. A minimum wage of 18,000 naira is equivalent of 40 US dollars, which is a wage of $1.40 a day. This is an extremely poor wage. I therefore call on the federal and state governments to increase the minimum wage, not just out of human compassion, but also out of economic necessities. The higher the minimum wage goes, the lower the rate of corruption goes. It makes common sense to do this. My name is Ben Murray Bruce, and I just want to make common sense.